Hi, I'm Jay, the Happy Colorist, and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I have a very tiny haul to show you, but I really wanted to, to show you these um, books and not wait to accumulate more. Um, the first one you've already seen, I already did, did a review for that, and now the cats are fighting in the background. Okay, sorry, I'm back. <laughs> cats. Yeah, as I said, I have already um, done a review for this on my channel. It's the newest book by um, Jen Katz uh, and it's called Autumn is my favorite color. Very fitting to the season. Um, autumn has really arrived here. It's been um, uh, misty and rainy and I really, really like it. Autumn is my favorite season actually and I'm going to make uh, try and make my first uh, spiced pumpkin latte later i'm really excited so um the great thing about this book is that the binding is here on top and not on the side let me just um flip through a couple of them you can see it's very very autumny with pumpkins and mushrooms and leaves and and yet it is her um uh whimsical bit spacey style that we know of Jen. Really love this book. Can't wait to color in it. The, the paper is really thick. It's one-sided so I'm sure it will take watercolor pretty well. Um, yeah and it is back in her Etsy store I think she, her, her reprint. She did run out of the first batch but as far as I know her um, the second batch is in so if you didn't uh, get it the first time around try now. Then I got two Jade Summer books. Those have been on my wish list for quite some time. This is the Light and Dark Fantasy and this is um, Kawaii. Um, both are grayscale and both are um, like two books in one. So you could get the light fantasy and you could get the dark fantasy and now they're here in, there, um, in it together. And um, now it's just 50 um, grayscale pictures without any doubles and since I never um, use the double image um, I'd rather have 50 uh, unique pictures like so and I'm super happy um, that I got this and I got both of these because um, the price dropped on Amazon I don't know whether it was a permanent price drop or a sale or something um, but they dropped a bit in price and um, so I got them immediately because their usual sales price is a bit too too high for my taste um, because this is uh, only um, Amazon fulfilled crate space paper. Um, but yeah, I got it for slightly cheaper, so I really uh, immediately got this. And this is um, Kawaii, and um, I can't quite remember the titles of the two books that are in That are in here. I think one is Kawaii Fantasy and one might just be Kawaii Girls, I think. And this is very slightly grayscale. I really like it too. And again, 50 unique pictures, uh, no doubles. So I think in the back here is Kawaii um, Fantasy. You can tell it's fairies and unicorns and um, everything. Um, fantasy. And then the other thing is, the other is just, um, yeah, Kawaii Girls, you can tell it's a bit less fantasy. Well, not much. <laughs> and I really wanted these two books too, and I'm really happy they brought this out as a grayscale book. I really love this picture a lot, obviously. And I like that the grayscale is pretty um, light, so it doesn't um, just mark the colors when you color over it. So, Kawaii Grayscale by Jade Summer. And the last thing that I got, this isn't technically a book, but it's the limited edition Coloring Heaven Calendar 2020 with um, 13 exclusive pictures by um, all kinds of illustrators that were featured in the, I think in the last year um, by Coloring Heaven. Um, it is still available if you uh, want it and I really looked forward to it so much because I think it's such a great idea. Um, so 
I'm just quickly flipping through this because I haven't seen it on many channels yet. So maybe you haven't seen it yet. Um, it's, let me show you something to compare. It is basically a four in length, but it's way big, bigger here. And it's um, very, very thick cardstock, as you can expect um, from a calendar. This is from uh, one of the illustrators who did the anime um, uh, special. Um, and she's uh, called Desti. I think she either did the anime one or two or both. And this is basically the, the, the 13th page um, and the calendar. You can already hang it now because it features September, October, November and December of this year. And I'm going to actually hang it later. My uh, boyfriend just needs to uh, put a nail in the wall for me. And then we get into the actual calendar. This is January. Um, and this is by Nalaka Showmaker. And just let me quickly show you once the actual calendar pages. They run from Monday to Sunday, which I'm very happy for because that's how we um, have our calendars in Germany too. <laughs> what I really, really like is that they put in when the coloring have an issue is re released because I have uh, um, my subscription is uh, running, I think, at least through the next year. Um, and I'm already, always looking forward to, to their releases. And then, of course, they also have the, you know, the holidays. I think the UK holidays, US holidays and the Australian holidays. So it doesn't help me much. But yeah, this is um, Nalika Showmaker. She was featured in the Sorcerers and Sorceresses issue um, recently. And really, really like her, her illustrations, especially they really just pop so much when they're colored in. Um, I really like how she does the, the faces. I've done so many gorgeous um, pictures. This is February and this is, um, maybe you can already guess, this is by Christine Karen. It's a bit uh, more different than her usual style, a bit more dark. Um, February is the month of Valentine's Day, so of course this is a couple. Um, I think it's pretty interesting that she does, did something like this. And this is March. I really love this. This is Kelly O'Gorman. Um, you see this beautiful um, woman and uh, the Easter hair. Then this is Kanako Igusa for April. And this is so, so sweet. And what I really like is that, um, like with many of her illustrations, they consist of several um, parts. So you could color in this one and then later color in this and color in this and color in this because they do fit together thematically, but they are kind of separated on the on the picture. So this is again, um, obviously for Easter with the bunnies and they're so, so cute and with the little chickies and this would be so gorgeous when colored. Um, and this is a picture by Michael Jolina um, for May. You have uh, beautiful butterflies here and can really imagine how this will look so gorgeously colored in. And you can use all kinds of mediums because um, the paper is so, so thick. And just if you use some alcohol markers, it will bleed through the calendar page on the other side. Then this is Selina Fennec. Um, and I'm super, super happy for that because um, when Selina Fennec had her um, Coloring Cabin special out, I missed it and couldn't get it. And this is really one of those that I really am um, sad about that I couldn't get it. And this is a super gorgeous, super detailed um, picture for June with the unicorn and the tiny fairy. Oh, unicorn Pegasus, I suppose. And again, this is another one I'm super happy about. This is by Anne Stokes. And again, this is a, a, a coloring have an issue that I missed in 2018 that I'm really, really sad that I couldn't get it. So at least, you know, with the calendar, I can have one of Anne's pictures like this. And it's a gorgeous dragon with <laughs> tiny little dragon babies. Um, and this is... Uh, instantly recognizable too. This is Zed Van Z for August. Um, and you can really, you know, do her skin and then her hair that goes into the ribbons and I'm sure it'll look fantastic. 
this is for September. This is white stag. I don't know. It's an eel, unicorn, mermaid, or something. Um, this is already, you know, starting August with this uh, thunderstorm in the in the background. Again, but you can make it super misty if you wanted to. I really love this one too. This is Anis Garrow for October, obviously a Halloweenish picture. And again, um, I missed the Halloween picture last last year where her pictures were in, which I'm again very sad about. So really happy that I have this picture. It's for October, and um, I can really already see how you can um, color this in beautifully. This pumpkin patch in the woods. And this is for November. It is obviously by Hannah Lynn. Um, I love this. Uh, it's fall, but the best things um, of fall, which is um, like the harvest season, Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, the bountiful, bountiful autumn. I'm really looking forward to color this in. And it's so sweet with the, with the dough and the little guy here. And there's a little squirrel here. And you can see how the autumn winds are dancing around the fairy and then we have the last picture this is by Adele Lorien um, it is for December and it already evokes a wonderful Christmas feeling with those two sweet fairies um, and the Christmas breath and yeah this will look so so gorgeous with you know the red berries and the dark greens here and the browns for the pine cones and I look really much forward to color this in so yeah this is the coloring heaven um, calendar i really hope they will do one for next year too um, i usually don't get coloring calendars like this um, like i know johanna busford for example has one out every year that is really gorgeous with her pictures but those i usually have in uh, books already anyway and here with these i get pictures that i uh, never got and also from different artists so it isn't you know samey like so I mean of course there are some that um, aren't really my style that I don't think I will will color but uh, almost all of them I really 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 like so yeah this is my little haul for autumn um, I hope you enjoyed the video and We'll see you next time. Bye.